I think that there's a, a great value in bringing a lot of different stakeholders together. Um, artificial intelligence is one of those new technologies that I think a lot of us are really coming to grips with. And I think the business world is doing the same thing as the rest of us at the moment. What the gathering uh, like this one does is it brings together that wide range of stakeholders that wouldn't necessarily be in an AI for business meeting um, alone. And the fact is that new, some of these new technologies like artificial intelligence, they can be used for good. They can also be used for purposes that are more destructive. And I think it's really important that the, the United Nations, the uh, governments, the academia, and private sector all come together to really discuss those, those different dimensions. I think it's really important that the principles that come out of the summit discussion that, that are agreed on, they get distributed widely so that because we're still in the beginning of the movement for, for artificial intelligence, it's really important that we embed at the beginning some of these important principles that keep this technology focused on doing good things. So. It's, I think it's a good moment, rather than waiting until the technology is more mature and then figuring out that, wait, we've got a problem, we need to re re uh, reverse engineer or retrofit something. It's really good to have some of those basic principles agreed on at, that, that can be distributed widely to anyone working on this to think, hey, as I'm putting this system together, maybe I should consider meeting these principles. I think AI has a huge potential for the fight against hunger. I think, for example, you can take the massive amounts of data that we're gathering now from satellite images, which really would take a lot of people a lot of time to look in and, and process them manually. If we can use machine reading to process uh, uh, satellite images, we can amplify the, 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 the ability of humans to really analyze that data, put it together, uh, understand in ways that we can create predictive crop modeling, crop yield monitoring. Um, all of those, those kinds of things that, that are really going to allow us to, to have a, a, a better impact on hunger. Um, at the World Food Program, we're looking not only at how we use satellite images and a AI to, to read satellite images, we're also looking at optimizing our supply chain. When we look at delivering food or food assistance to people around the world, we have a massive supply chain that, that needs to be optimized. And again, having the, the power of an AI platform would really allow us to do that because every dollar that we can save in our supply chain is a dollar that can go to people in the form of food or food assistance of some kind. I also think that the massive amounts of data that we're going to be gathering on um, not only crop yields but soil types and, and all sorts of other things will allow uh, commercial providers to come in and, and do things like put together insurance products, products for small farmers. Um, that will really allow them to preserve their livelihoods at times when there's some sort of climatic shock or, or things like that. Um, so I see potential across a huge range of, of areas. When we talk about the impact that a technology like AI can have, there is no question it's exponential. Um, there is a lot of hard work that needs to be done at the field level though. And so if you go out to the rural parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, you will see people that um, they, they may now have a 2G cell phone and they may very well soon have uh, uh, internet connectivity because of, of the expansion of uh, uh, the phone networks or satellite um, provided Wi-Fi and so on. But there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done by a lot of people, a lot of uh, small entrepreneurs, a lot of institutions to make sure that that gets all set up in the right way. So I think that um, it's great that we talk about the global narrative of exponential technology and exponential impact of tech new technologies. Um, but I really, need, I really realize that we need to support some of the people working very locally to make that whole thing happen. I'm very optimistic about that, but it doesn't happen automatically, and I want to make sure that we're looking at the whole, um, the whole chain from the global to the very micro local level so that we're supporting people who need to do that work.